hey hey my youtube friends how y'all doing today i am doing my first ever crochet video and this is my very first written pattern so let's get into it i am using red heart yarn i have four skeins that i will be using with this and a 5.75 millimeter hook we're going to be starting with the front panel and here we're going to be chaining 70 and then we're going to turn our work and we're going to go half double, cro half double crochet back loop only into the second chain from the hook and then all the way to the end then chain two and turn our work and you're going to repeat this until you have 15 rows once you got that far it should look something like this and so for row 16 you're going to half double crochet back loop only okay, for 50 uh -huh. stitches and then you're going to turn and then chain two and then repeat that until you have hit 34 rows now once you hit row 35, now you're going to, of course, make it look like the other side and you're going to add those 20 stitches back to it. So go ahead and chain two, half double crochet, back loop only, okay, all the way to the end and then add the 20 extra stitches and you're going to do this until you have 50 rows and then you're going to fasten off. Now for the back panel and this is going to be a lot easier because you're not going to have that little chunk taken out of it. So you're basically just making a rectangle. So you're going to chain 70 and then you're going to turn it, you're going to half double crochet to the end and you're going to chain two and then you're going to continue doing this until you have your 50 rows and then you're going to um, fasten off. So once I finished, I went ahead and put them together and lined them up and then attached the shoulder portion to the back panel. <laughs> And all I did was slip stitch across. You could slip stitch or you could sew whatever floats your boat. That's just what I chose to do. And this is how the body of it is looking. And we are moving on to the sleeves. Okay, so to start off the sleeves, we are going to go ahead and chain 15, then turn your work. And this is gonna be just like the body for right now. So you're gonna half double crochet back loop into the second chain from the hook. And then all the way to the end and chain two as usual turn and then continue doing this until you have 14 rows this is the part that wraps around your wrist so we're going to turn our work to the side and now we're going to start making the big part of the sleeve and you're going to put two single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end and then chain two and turn the second row you're going to do two half double crochet in that first stitch and then in the second stitch you're going to do a half double crochet and you're going to alternate doing the two half cro double crochet and then one half double crochet to the end of the row chain two and turn row three consists of half double crochet all the way to the end chain two and then turn for 30 rows and then by the time you get to your 31st row just half double crochet to the end chain one and fasten off make two of these sleeves Yay, pat yourself on the back. You have two completed sleeves that are sewn up on the sides and ready to be attached to the body. So now I'm just going to attach it to the body by shoving it up next to each other and taking this side and this side and I'm going to, excuse me, slip stitch all the way down to that spot right there. And then I'm going to finish going all the way along to the very bottom. Then we're going to tie off right there or fasten off and then go to the other side and you'll just have that other side to attach to the back or vice versa. So do that on both sides and then last thing, we are ready for the collar. Y'all, we are almost done with this. All we have left is the collar and it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to explain, but I'm gonna do my best. And I guess if you have any issues understanding what I'm talking about, just leave me a comment down below and I'll try to help the best as I can. So I like to start by starting the collar with the back middle. That way it's easy to tell with um, where the seam is to show what's front and back, you know, if it's hard to tell. So start there and then single crochet all the way around, slip stitch together, chain up 10. Now you're going to turn your work, go down that, slip stitch, the, we're doing, dealing with slip stitches now. Slip stitch in the next 10 stitches and then slip stitch two together at the bottom. Chain one, turn your work, skip the next two stitches and slip stitch in the next 10 
and then turn and then repeat this all the way around the neck. So I hope it was easy enough to follow and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you decide to recreate it, please tag me. I would love to see it. And then maybe I can start doing a feature. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Stay well. I, I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. Say once to watch me.